Assignment 13. Grammar. Verbs, tenses, and time. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope you're having a good time with your family and your friends and learning a lot through our e-lessons and e-classes, right? So today we will be doing the grammar and grammar we are going to do verbs, tenses, and time. So I hope you're going to learn a lot in this video. So let's start our class. Alright, so, so you have already done tenses in your previous grade and I hope you remember uh, what they are. So what do you think verbs are and how many tenses are there? Do you know the structure of each tense or not? Right. Uh, so let's start with the explanation now. First of all, uh, we will do what is a verb. Alright, so what is a verb? Verb is a word used to describe an action state or occurrence and forming the main part of the predicate of a sentence so it is basically what it describes an action right or a state or an, an occurrence fine so the sentence or the predicate of the sentence get completed with the help of the verb right so in simple words verbs are the action words which help us understand the sentence or what is going on in the sentence okay these verbs can be past they can be present and they can be future all right so i do know uh, so I do hope that you know about the past, present and future. So you have to do an exercise for revision, which is exercise A. So our exercise A is that you have to identify whether the underlined verb take place in the past, the present or the future. So the underlined verb is had traveled. Right? So we have a had here and third form of verb here. So what do you think? Which tense is this? This is basically a past perfect tense. Okay. We have had. Had indicates the perfect. And we have third form of verb. So it is what? Past perfect. Okay. So now, tense of the verb. It refers to the time at which the action by the verb takes place, right? It refers to the time. This time can be present, this can be past, or this can be future, right? At the time which the action by the verb takes place place so the action is taking place at what time is it present is it past or is it future right all right it also tells us whether the speaker considers the action as completely uh, done or completed or it is still going on it tells whether the action is completed or still going on if it is completed we call it a perfect tense right but if it is still going on we call it a continuous tense okay so now we'll move towards the definitions of the past present and future all right so first of all past tense past tense is a tense expressing an action that has happened or a state that previously existed something that has already been done right so it refers to what as past tense okay things that happened in the past that are already done that has already happened they are referred to as past and that tense is called a past tense now we'll move towards our next tense all right so a past tense is a tense expressing an action that is currently going on right At right now or a habitually performed action right for example she, a person is in the habit of um, running right so you can say she goes running every day so it is like habitual 
fine or a state that currently or generally exist when you're talking about something that already like generally exist then we talk about it or refer to it as present tense okay now we'll move towards our pa uh, future tense future tense is a tense expressing an action that has not yet happened something that hasn't happened yet or a state that the does not yet exist right that state is not there yet so when we are talking about something that hasn't happened yet or the state that doesn't exist yet we refer to it as future tense okay so that's the end of part one now we'll move towards our part two so see you in, inshallah in part two